All right, hey guys, we're gonna do some work on our feet and our ankles. So if you're watching this right now, you've either had like shin splints or maybe some plantar, some Achilles, you know, something from here down. <laughs> so I'm gonna start standing and then I'm gonna bring you down. So the first thing we're gonna work on is when you're running, we really need to have the knees bent. So a lot of us are limited with either some mobility down here in the ankle. So what we're gonna do first is I want you to just bend your knees, right? And just so it's still comfortable, but your knees are really bent. Your feet are flat on the ground, completely flat. And what I want you to start with is just a toe tap. So you see I'm lifting my toes, my heels stay down, my knees stay bent. So it's just gonna isolate that shin for just a second. It's a nice little wake up on the shin. So 10 toe taps. Now keep the weight on the ball of the foot and lift your heels. Same thing, 10 times. But see how my knees stay bent? So I'm not getting any taller. So I'm just, and this is really, I call this kind of dialing into your foot. Leave your toes spread. So feel how you're not on your toes, you're on the ball of your foot. So this is really, and now, see if you can rock back and forth. See, now notice when you do this, <clears throat> your hips actually stay in the same spot and your knees stay bent. This is a great way to start talking to your feet, okay? All right, now just wiggle your toes and let that come out. Really nice. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna work on an ankle opener. So you just woke up your feet, so just leave your knees bent. Take one foot back and watch. I'm just rotating. If you need to grab onto something for balance, please do. You see, I'm just rotating the ankle. And this is a dynamic movement, meaning it's not a hold, it's a movement. So let me turn to the side, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna go from movement, so I just was doing movement, to a hold. See, I'm just, I've got the, my ankle back, it's still relaxed, but this is a hold. So if you can be here, then just be here. If you think you can take this further, okay, so I'm gonna start with the other foot. So let me face you for again for a minute, so my knees are bent, I'm gonna take my back foot, you see I'm just opening up letting that ankle come out, letting it, so just let it come out and back in. Okay, so now we're gonna be sideways. So again, re-bend that knee you're standing on, and then again. So first with movement, four or five with movement, and then I want you to hold for a count of five. So if you need to stay here, stay here. Guys, if you can bring this all the way down and hold it here, this is great. This is a really nice hold to be right here. Say you have one leg that's injured, just work on one leg first. But what if you can do both legs? Then do both legs. What if you cannot do both legs right now? Then get a pillow or even like a mat and watch. If I put this mat right here, <laughs> try to do this quick. You see? Ah, so pillows work really well. A mat works really well. And I'm telling you, once you can kind of just sit and let the ankles relax, it's gonna feel really good. 20, 30 seconds is plenty. Okay, so then we're gonna to rotate to our plantar. So I just wanna take your toes, you see, and press them back like this. And when you do that, again, you're gonna sit back with all of the same things. So if I cannot sit like this, I can just, again, get a pillow and put it right here, and you can do this very comfortably, okay? Or just do the one foot on here like this, Really what I want is to be able to curl the toes and keep that as open as I can, all right? Now we're gonna take it right into a seated exercise. So I'll roll my mat back out. And this, guys, I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take my shoe off. You can do this with your shoes on or off, but I want you to see what my feet are doing. This is an incredible exercise, by the way, for the um, plantar, for the shin, for the Achilles, it's really good. So first I just want you to scrunch and release the toes. Just scrunch and release. Really get into the toes. Then you're gonna take your fingers and you're just going to keep scrunching the toes, but I'm also keeping my calf relaxed. This is a really great communicator. And what I mean by that is I'm talking right now to the calf and saying, hey, relax. You stay relaxed while my foot does the work. And when you do this as, a, as an exercise and communicate, then when you run, what's gonna happen is your ankle will be relaxed, your calf will be relaxed, 
because that's what we want. But we want the strength to happen with our feet when our foot's on the ground. So this is a great exercise for that.